told Peter three times, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. But it's hard to hear the word of God to get the spiritual food if your stomach's growling. So I'm glad we get to love people in word and in deed today. We are loading squash and cucumbers. <laughs> so it'd be easier access. One in six children in Middle Tennessee don't know where their next meal is coming from, and one in eight of the general population. And in this country, that should not happen. We have a lot of elderly people that make decisions between food and medicine. And in the church at large, we should be doing everything we can to eliminate that from ever happening ever in the communities we live in. 250 plus families are going to get a grocery cart full of food today, and the majority of it's going to be fresh produce. It's going to help me stand. Cause I just need a oh, helping hand It's gonna help me stand It's gonna help me stand I think it's important for us to do this because this is how Jesus lived his life. This is what he did. He knew that there were always going to be people that needed more than some of the others did and it's our charge to be the hands and feet. And I tell you personally, I get more out of this than you can even imagine. It's just my heart. It's just, it gets filled full and you know, overflows. says it's more blessed for us to give than to receive. If you've been looking for joy or your joy has been falling short a little bit, today yeah. your yeah. cup is going to run over because you're going to be thinking about other people. We are uh, organizing books for the kids to take home and read here. The smiles you give, the hugs you give, the help you give is going to go a long way. It's going to bless people. We can help and teach our children how to serve, and it's okay to just bring them along. Uh, I'm doing this today because it's a great way to serve, a great way to get out there and uh, help people in need and um, just serve, serve the Lord and fulfill this plan. We're getting to meet people, but they're not just from this area. Some of the people I've talked to are from uh, Portland, Tennessee, uh, some people I've lived down in Hermitage, North Nashville. Uh, so they're all coming here, and this just kind of shows the impact this has. Just the joy to be in the midst of God's people. And it gives me the inspiration to keep moving on to help somebody. And all of God's people say, It's gonna help me stay